Now it's interesting, I've actually been in the middle section of doing research for my doctoral thesis on spontaneous remissions in cancer. And it's uncanny how many of these spontaneous remissions, and even people just in chronic illness, they say word for word how important their intuition was in figuring out the process. Now sometimes the intuition was, don't take this physician's advice. Sometimes the intuition was, do this very unconventional thing even though you're terrified of it. And sometimes the intuition was to take your foot off the gas pedal and just sit back for a moment. Now, one thing I find that we poo-poo in modern society and just this era in human history, we tend to poo-poo the intuition and instead praise the logic, the intellect, the physician with the book of answers, the Merck manual. And we forget that intuition has gotten us this far in human history and evolution on the planet. And in this video, I want to share how you can use intuition as part of your healing process. Hey, I'm Alex Hein, current doctoral student in classical Chinese medicine and author of the book, Master the Day. Now, I've also included a free download. It's the first link in the description. It's a free PDF on five rituals to add 10 years to your life with traditional or classical Chinese medicine. So you can check it out right there in the description. So I want to quickly read here this little paragraph on a book called The Healing Path, which was written largely based on cancer spontaneous remissions, but one passage about a patient who ignored the logic and went with their intuition because of just how important it really was. So when Ted was admitted to the hospital with abdominal bleeding, he was told it was too late, that the cancer had spread throughout his body. Four or five guys in white came into my room, the head of oncology, the surgeons, and told me, at best, that I'd be dead in four months. They did offer me chemo, but when I asked them, will it cure me? They said, probably not. Will it give me a 50-50 chance of living? They said, nope, you might live a year at best. They'd officially given me up. But an inner voice said, that's not right. So I told them, you guys are wrong. I'm going to take care of this myself. I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. People who struck out on their own path of healing sometimes reported being treated like outcasts, fugitives, or recalcitrant children. When I refused to play the good little patient, one told me, it pissed off just about everyone. But with their lives in the balance, it was a risk they felt obliged to take. So the thing about intuition to me that's so telling is that we don't fully trust it. And yet intuition has gotten us thus far. I mean, humans have been around for 200,000 years, modern humans. And we've made it millions or billions of years in terms of evolution from the beginning of time on Earth, the billions of years. Now, how do animals survive? They know to survive, not based on these logical calculations, but based on intuition. The felt sense, the most primal sense. At its most primal level, intuition is about survival. And when you're dying of illness, nothing is more concerned with your survival than that itself. So it's the bodily intuition itself that guides animals. The body feeling. Not the, you know when you sit down and you've been on a date, and the person is everything you dreamed of on paper. The height, the pedigree, the look, the everything. Everything. You're like, holy crap. This person is blowing my mind. But at the end of the night, you're like, why don't I feel anything? This is weird. Why do I not feel the vibe? So what is the vibe? The vibe is the intuition. That's the body wisdom. The knowledge, the wisdom that's gotten us here hundreds of thousands or millions or billions of years. However you want to interpret that. So animals know when weather changes, they feel they should go get cover. Animals get that intuition about food, eat it, don't eat it. They get that intuition about people. Anyone that owns pets or dogs knows. Some people give off a vibe that their animals don't like right away. And there's that joke, you know, if the pet doesn't like them, don't date them. But the bodily intuition is the oldest form of wisdom and knowledge that all animals, all species have. And humans are animals too. The problem with humans is that because of our powerful logic, 
we can easily rationalize ourselves out of our intuition because that physician is a doctor from Harvard, because that person is so sexy and so smart, even though we don't feel it, because this job is a once in a lifetime opportunity and I really need the money, but we hate it. We can talk ourselves out of the most primal, truthful source of knowledge we have in self-healing. And so it's kind of been undeniable in my research, uncanny, how many people said the key to their self-healing was following their intuition and trusting that, especially if it was not on the path they expected, or especially if everyone else was telling them they should be afraid or what are you doing? They were putting these fear-based messages. It doesn't mean you stop seeing your physician. It doesn't mean you stop taking your doctor's advice or stop taking a pharmaceutical medication. It just means tune into the intuition See what it says you need to heal. And maybe you try that for a period of time and see where it leads you. So again, I hope that helps. That is the next step on the path to self-healing as far as the self-healing process and kind of free course we've been going through here. Again, you can check out the first link in the description, which is a free download on five daily habits to add 10 years to your life with classical Chinese medicine. And of course, you can check out my last two related and recent videos right there and right there.